New games for everyone! This week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 172, a show in which the writers of insertcoin2begin.com get together to ro- talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, but before we get to the infotainment and general good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody's achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What'd you achieve? Call of Duty and Farm Simulator. How are your crops? Woo! See, I switched from uh, wheat to corn. Okay. Uh, to milk. Good choice. Good choice. And now back to wheat. Okay. Um, and I <laughs> yeah. also I also uh, sell the grass to the biogas place um, whenever it's done processing. So oh, we know, need we need clean burning uh, biodiesel. Right. Right. So okay. I'm helping the environment and getting fat paid. Yeah. I own <laughs> I own six fields now, three sets of equipment. I am. Well, and that was your agricultural and, minute on boss battle this week. <laughs> Back to you, Chachi. What else did you cheat? Well, that's it. That's it? Okay. You gotta turn that soil. All right. <laughs> Riz, how about you? What'd you cheat? I can't top that. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you know that, that's right. Um, actually, I just got done training both uh, my two oldest amiibos, uh, Ouija and Dorf on Golf, uh, to level 50, so I'm, I'm good on that one. And also, I defeated a Deathclaw with no power armor. Ooh, aren't you special? I, I am very special. Uh, have you, Bobby, have you been into the... Uh, S-P-E-A-C-I. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> have you been into the uh, witches? Music? No, I, I I don't want any part of that right now. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very 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 scary. I don't want any part of that right now. And it's weird because there's only one death claw in there, I mean, and I've heard it. Yeah, but I heard it's a big one. It's a big old. It's a big old one. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Cool, Sword. How about you? I played some WWE and Mortal Kombat on my phone. I guys, I just work here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, WWE and Mortal Kombat? Yeah. Yeah, on my phone. Like together? Oh. Oh. Well, well, the, WWE well, versus. Yes, Mortal that would be Immortals. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That's that actually that's actually that is, that is that is actually Immortals. Like, yes. But that is very accurate. It's, it's the same game. It's the same game. So. All right. Well, and Bobby, I, what did you achieve? I achieved this week. I uh, I. Got WWE 2K16, uh, played a couple rumbles in that. Um, a friend of the show, Dalton Castle, is going to, going to WrestleMania. I won the Royal Rumble with him and with uh, Jimmy Uso. Uh, so two out of left field choices. Yes. Um, and I downloaded a whole bunch of creator wrestlers, uh, Dalton Castle being one of them. Um, just most of the NXT roster, uh, a couple of Lucha Underground guys, stuff like that. Um I played some Fallout 4 and some Destiny. Um, I'm almost to level 40 in Destiny already, <laughs> which, yay. Um, and I, uh, I bought a legendary gun off of Zer, which is cool. My first one of those. And um, I downloaded the, 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 uh, the Game of the Year from the, uh, the uh, Game Awards, which we're going to talk about later. Mm-hmm. So I didn't play it yet, but I, I downloaded it. You're going to have fun with that game. But we'll get to that in a minute. Now it's time to go around the net with Chachi. It is? It is! Oh, man! It's now time net. for video game fanfics! First up, uh, YouTube user Captain Sparkles teamed up with Verizon to create a fully functional cell phone in Minecraft. Wow. Um, uh, he is full of technology. Yeah, the Verizon team uh, worked on programming Minecraft so that you could build cell towers that function and uh, allow you to call yourself via video uh, video chat on an iPhone. 
it was really cool because he called I it, it's basically programming that connects to an outside program um and allows you to call yourself that but it actually shows like the video on the phone in the Minecraft pixel style um so I mean it's cool to check out so you can go over to insertcoinvision.com and check it out uh, next up, an amazing tattoo artist, or not tattoo, makeup artist, uh, uses makeup and transforms herself from woman to Trevor. Hashtag nightmares. Yes. <laughs> um, it is scary as hell, but she is extremely it, well talented. It looks cool, but it's, yeah. it's scary as hell. <laughs> yeah. Um, so also you can check that out. And last but not least, uh, Riz brought this rapper to my attention, uh, Young... Mm -hmm. Town, yes, that's about right. Yeah, um, who does not to be uh, confused with O Town? Yeah, who does a uh, video game rap and it's actually quite good. Um, I downloaded the track that Riz sent me so I could listen to it over and 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 over again. Also down on A1, Pokemon. And here's a little bit of it right here. Oh, it paused. Oh. <laughs> and buffer. It was good. <laughs> good job, Rapper. Yeah. It is really fair good. use. Go ahead, Josh. Yeah. Eat, that, eat that Triforce. It was really good. And he Bobby, that's another more, podcast. <laughs> far more talented than I am. Far more. Um, but that's all I have for you this week in video game three games from around the internet. Back to you, Bobby. All right, it's time for some things we should be made aware of. Uh, this week we kick it off with some Nintendo news. Um, Hyrule Warrior Legends for the 3DS might have unlocked a new character for the entire Legend of Zelda universe. Uh, it appears that Linkle, the female version of Link from the game, has caught the eye of Nintendo producer. Bear with me for a moment, Edgy. Anuma, a, a new trailer for the game showed Linkle using a crossbow, uh, to which he said, I had a chance to give feedback on Linkle during development, but the satisfying action of using a crossbow, which we developed for the spinoff title Link's Crossbow Training, was implemented this time completely by Tech or Koei Tecmo. Um, this uh, begs the question, could, Link, or could Linkle appear in other games besides Hyrule Warriors? Um, I think it's very possible to have Linkle uh, be the counterpoint. To, counter. This is me talking. Uh, I think it's very possible to have Linkle be the counterpoint to Link in a future Legend of Zelda game, um, as Link is pretty much uh, basically a blank slate for the uh, avatar for the gamer. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think we'll be seeing her in future uh, Legend of Zelda games? Mm. I, I, I. Yes. Here's the thing. <laughs> I can't believe you just asked me if I thought there would be any future Legend of Zelda games. Yeah, well, no, we, we, well yeah, that's true. We may not get one if, 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 if Nintendo it, keeps taking their time. If there's if there's a, a female in a Legend of Zelda game, that means there is a new Legend of Zelda game, game coming. Right. I don't care if it's a female, male, transvestite. I don't care if it's a walking tree. Heck, make, suit make it tingle. Pokemon. Who cares? Make it tingle for all I care. Right. As long as it's a new Legend of Zelda game, I will play it. Hey, you just got that new one from uh, the 3DS, the, the the little Link it's Four Swords Adventures or whatever. <laughs> that counts, right? No. No. <laughs> not at all. All right. The one well, where you're you wear well close. Yeah, that's not at all. Uh, but uh, anyways, I just, I just, we just, we just want. We ju we just want a Legend of Zelda game. That's true. In in the next year. Yep. All right. Well, Riz, yes. Riz. Yes. Um, this is a. Whining oh. over this. Okay. Good. Try I was not continue. done whining, and you just up and moved on. I'm sorry. I was ready who to move on. I'm the yeah, host. Who are you today? I'm the Man. host of this prestigious podcast. God damn it, Bobby. Continue. Move, move on. <laughs> All right. All right. Riz. Yes. This is a subject near and dear to your heart as you took to the internet to rant about it. Um, uh, Kojima, Hideo Kojima, Hideo Kojima uh, from Metal Gear Solid. Oh, man. 
Wait. Uh, he's back in the news again. Hey, Bobby. Yes. yes. Is this what I think it is? Do it. Is it? Is it? Is it time wait. for a free spin? Wait, I thought that there was, was a guitar. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You were supposed <laughs> to be a guitar. You were supposed to do a guitar riff in there. Oh, I'm sorry. What's, what's, that's better. <laughs> what's going on? Anyways, Riz, <laughs> tell us about what happened to uh, Mr. Um, Kojima over the weekend. Well, not even over the weekend. Well, there were it was, well, it was Thursday. Thursday. Well, yeah. There were two events in question here. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was at the PlayStation Awards, the PlayStation Awards ceremony, where uh, I believe that's where the PR direct a, a PR rep from from uh, Konami mm -hmm. went up and, and accepted an award for Metal Gear Solid Five. For I, th I believe it was for Game of the Year too, which mm. blew my mind. Um, and then at the Game Awards, uh, it was it was found out that he was not even well, he was invited, but he was banned from being there due to legal oblig legal blockage from Konami. No, Riz, he was at a party. No, 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 no. He was at a going away party. No. You let he me was finish. On vacation. <laughs> he was on, oh, that's right. He was on vacation. He, he, he was, was on, on vacation. He was on vacation from what? <laughs> was on vacation. Bullshit like that. <laughs> it, it, I, I, and it, you know how 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 happy we were on this one. And I, I said this in the in in the insert coin to begin the article. Um, you know how happy how, how like funny and and funny we, fun we've had with that one for the last mm -hmm. couple months. It's over now. Yeah. It's over. Like to not have the guy that made the guy that made the, your game popular. The guy that made your game worthwhile made you money, and you're not going to allow that guy to speak mm -hmm. and accept an award saying this is your game. Who accepted the award at the uh, play at the uh, game awards? Chris. He for Southern. <laughs> Snake himself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and and right after that, what happened to Key for Sutherland? Oh, I, I, I Oh, you didn't see that? Didn't um, the, see the, the, the lady that presented the next award for uh, best voice actor or best performance, um, basically threw him under the bus by saying, "What's Metal Gear Solid without uh, without uh, James Hader is uh, Snake." <laughs> <laughs> It was great. It's true because it it's great. true yeah. because no offense to Keith Sutherland. I mean, yeah. he's, he's cool. I mean, but but snake, yeah. snake. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Time out. Whose game is it? It's Kojima. Kojima it's Productions. Hideo Kojima Productions. I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait one minute. Let me let me look this up. Okay. On the box. Solid. And on the game, it says Hideo Kojima Productions. Let's see. Oh wait, they took that off. <laughs> no, Konami, it's, Konami took that off. Konami took that off on the on the cart on the on the actual box. But when you load it up on the game, it says Hideo Kojima game. And every it's time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up. But okay, all right, I'm just gonna I'm telling you what it says. It's 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 his production. It's his baby. Konami oh, just stamped oh, on oh, it. Oh, oh, look here, publisher. Konami. But it's still That's not necessarily the game. owner of the property. Yeah. Yeah, it's his game. It's his game. Chuck. No, because here, look at this. If Call of Duty were to get see. if Call if Call of Duty Shachi, were to get in an not, argument with I'm Treyarch. If Call of Duty were to if Activision mm -hmm. were to get into an argument with Treyarch. Mm -hmm. Treyarch would no longer be able to develop any Call of Duty games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of happened with, uh, Just, with Respawn. But or, I mean, I, and I think in your well, case, uh, I think in your case, Konami does own Metal Gear as, right. as a whole. Um, but I'm just saying that, like, just saying, oh, it's a publisher. That does not necessarily no. say that that's the fact. Because there's a lot of no, things that are published. Uh, well, Nintendo published a lot of Rare stuff, for instance, and Rare no. just released it for Xbox. So. I don't think it was Battle right Toads, for, for instance. But it, it, the, the point, it, it's not... In this case, Konami owns the 
the IP. Mm-hmm. Therefore, if you piss off Konami, Konami, no matter what you do on the game, you lose all rights. It's still sad. It's still. It's still. It's. I. I can't. I can't understand. Like, what did they think was going to happen when their when their guy was going to go up there and do that? Did they could think? You, was, could you even just gets on stage and goes, "Karami sucks." Drops yeah. The and yeah. Off. <laughs> like this is mine now, and he just does the yeah. chop and leaves. Mine now, bitches. <laughs> he leaves. <laughs> It's just so like it, it just sucks. That's it. That's it. It just sucks that he couldn't be there to present himself as the game developer, as the guy who made who who actually made Metal Gear Solid Five and the Phantom Pain. And this is just a long list of how Konami has gone down really hard on everything they've done. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, PT was a was a Konami deal. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and that that blew up in their face. Yep. This blew up in their face. The way they handled the way they handled Ko- Kojima in the first place was just downright criminal. Just going uh, and just. Dragging along, dragging us along with them, going, no, he's not fired. He's just on a vacation, guys. His whole team's on a vacation. They're going to come back soon. Don't worry. And then this, taking legal action over his game or whatever. I, I'm, if you want my opinion on it, it's on insertcointobegin.com. Check it out. Look it up. And if you want to comment on it, comment on it. All right. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that, Riz. Riz rant, Riz. All right. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. Chachi. What? Do I get a guitar riff? I don't, no, I just, you don't. Do I at least get a guitar rift? No. All right. Anyways, nope. moving on. At the PlayStation Experience nope. weekend, uh, or this week, Square Enix showed off their new trailer for Final Fantasy VII, showing off the game's new combat and spruced up graphics. What they didn't announce, though, was the fact that um, – Final Fantasy VII is going to be released in different parts. Uh, They put that in a press release. Uh, Whether that means in different games or episodically remains to be seen. Um, The game does not have a release date. However, the hope for the Xbox One owners was attached at the end of the trailer, where it said play it first on PlayStation again. Uh, So, Which could mean the game could be out on PC, could be the Xbox One. Who knows? Um... But I, I think they may be taking – I hope they're not doing this, uh, but they may be taking a, a page from Telltale Games and releasing it episodically like that. Or it could be like Final Fantasy XIII where they release one, two, maybe three games out of it. Um, but they said each 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 uh, episode is going – or each whatever they called it was going to have its own feel and, and going to be a unique experience. So that's cool. Um but in other Final Fantasy VII news, <laughs> PlayStation released Final Fantasy VII's PC port on the PS4, and it's on sale till December 13th for 30% off. And after that date, it's going back to its regular price of $15.99. So you have limited time to get it for pretty cheap, which Final Fantasy VII, if you've never played it, is a pretty good game. I think they're genius. Yeah. I mean, if they're if they're releasing Final Fantasy VII in an episodic format, mm-hmm. that's just smart. It is the most requested re-release mm-hmm. uh, RPG from Square Enix. People are gonna buy it no matter what, anyways. <laughs> I mean, they could release it one mission at a time <laughs> at five bucks a mission, mm-hmm. and people are still gonna buy it. They're gonna make bake on this one. They're gonna make it. They Mad could deal. they could release this game in a Candy Crush format <laughs> where you get five lives out of moves. Yeah, you get <laughs> five get lives transactions. Yeah, and you have to wait until you recharge or beg people to give you lives. And every time every time you summon Bahamut, it goes sweet. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, yeah, this is just smart on that. They're going to make bank. Yeah. I, I mean, gonna... they're going to be. Yeah, they're just going to make it rain. <laughs> uh, they're going to Scrooge, McDuck, Scrooge McDuck this out of a, a money tower. <laughs> just, just tons of uh, uh, basically uh, credit transaction receipts and. Mm-hmm. Dollar bills piled up in like this. transactions. Yeah, just buy a chocobo. Yeah, that's it. Like, like, when when was this? When was uh the original one released? The early nineties, not early nineties, like nineties. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. Yeah. So there was that a uh, little thing that never happened then, which had which has happened now, called downloadable content. Right. Uh, so why not? Why not just you know just go? Hey, you're gonna buy it anyway, so just take it. Take mm-hmm. our. We're, we're gonna. You're gonna throw your wallet at us. Here, here you go. And right. they can, like, like you said, they can post. They can post it at five bucks an episode. Four ninety nine an episode. Get that not phone. my phone. Not my phone this time. It was released in 1997. <laughs> All right, can we move on to uh, other PlayStation news here? This week, Sony held their PlayStation Experience event. And here's some of the things they revealed. Uh, real quick, run down the list here. Uncharted 4 will reunite Drake with his brother and will feature dialogue choices in the game for the first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, PlayStation is the official home of Call- the Call of Duty World League, and the first map pack will be available in early 2016, and it will be called Awakening. Uh, Battleborn for the PS4 will get an exclusive character, which is a penguin driving a mech suit. Wait, 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 wait. Can you say that again? A penguin driving a mech suit. Whoa, whoa, Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Yes. Can can you repeat yourself? A penguin driving a mech suit. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. wait, But but the character, it's not a Battleborn. Battleborn just sold me. Uh, the character I, I saw the trailer. The character. It, Do not spoil it, this for me, Bobby. Go go watch the trailer and then tell me what you think. Um, Fang was revealed as the last Street Fighter V launch character. Uh, they revealed a ton of indie game news consisting of six Adult Swim games that are coming to the console. Uh, Sor- a Sorg favorite, uh, Hitman Go, is coming to the PS4 and Xbox One, I believe. Um, Don't Starve and Day of the Tentacle Remastered editions were also announced as far as indie games. What were the, what were some of the Adult Swim games? Did you? Um, I think the Duck Game that you liked. <gasps> yeah. No, 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 no. Duck Game. Yeah, Duck Game is coming. I am uh, so a couple, happy. couple other ones. I am so happy right now. <laughs> Yakuza Zero and King of Fighters were also announced. Um, a really stylistic, awesome looking ASCII two inspired fan, uh, fantasy game called Brutal. Um, if you haven't seen screenshots from that, it's, it looks amazing. Um, Fat Princess Adventures and a new Ratchet and Clank game are on the way. A bunch of VR games, including Res and a game that Chachi, Chachi, called 100 Foot Robot Playing Golf. What? Which is a 100 foot <laughs> robot playing golf in a destructible city. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I understand the concept of this game. Yes. You are a 100-foot robot yes. playing golf. Yes, mm-hmm. in a city that you can destroy. I think they could have been a little more descriptive <laughs> with the title of the game. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that 100-foot robot playing golf aptly describes yeah. the game. Yeah. And hey it's guys, a VR game. Guys, just, just so you know, I'm going to have a GoFundMe page to uh, buy me a PlayStation VR. Oh, I thought you meant 100 foot robot playing golf. <laughs> and and I, I will probably throw at, in that too. At the end of the, tr- the the trailer that they showed, there was a really weird teaser with a corgi wearing a VR visor. Um, which I was like, what is Bobby, going on? Bobby, all of your all of the things you're saying right now are I, making me me yeah the only one with a PlayStation Four <laughs> extremely happy. Yeah. Um, they also announced Ace Combat 7 and Nino Kuni 2, which makes me happy because I love the original Nino Kuni. Um, and the event closed with an, a look at Epic's Paragon, which is a new MOBA. And I believe they, they mentioned uh, – I'm not sure if we we covered this last week or not. My brain's all fried. Um, the, the backwards compatibility 
mm-hmm. come on the PlayStation. About but not time. with discs, but and it's only PS2. Yeah. Not PS2. Okay. So that's I can fine. deal with that for now. But you know what you can enjoy Ooh. while you're waiting. 100 foot robots playing golf. While you're waiting for 100 foot robots playing golf, you know what you can enjoy? Sork, why don't you tell them what they can enjoy? You can check out Slice on Broadway, our friends up here, uh, sliceonbroadway.com. They got supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the great uh, pepperoni pizza. Thank you so much for them joining us. Check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, pgh underscore slice on the Twitter. And check out what's going on this past week in Sorgatron Media. Have you interacted with the train in such a way where you had to run alongside it for any reason? Had to? No, did? Yes. Ah. Do you have to have the little A thing for them to deliver on? Yeah, do I have to put like a little like Amazon (laughs) square? Yeah, you do. She picks it up. Yeah, she picks it up. Yeah, Yeah, it lands right on the little A. I guess it looks for it. Mm -hmm. And then you pick it up and you take your A inside. So I got to run out back. This is the Amazon landing zone. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Years ago, I got got to be a part of uh, Team Taz, and one of the things he really liked about me was my promos and creativity, and that I had a brand, and I made sure everything stayed on brand, and I was trying to think of a way that I could do promos and make them a little bit more interesting. And then we found out the reason we haven't seen front of the show Logan Shulo uh, for the last almost two years is he's been freaking doing an album with Jim Johnston because yeah. the Drifter got a music video <laughs> debuted this week, man. Check yeah, it out. Definitely. Check it out. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> We sure did a lot at Sorgatron Media this week, and we have you to thank. Thanks, everybody. All right, going into our final battle question this week, uh, the Video Game Awards happened. So many things happened at the Video Game Awards, which Riz talked about earlier with uh, Kojima not being there. Um, But it was streamed on Twitch and Xbox and the Internet this year. Um, They had announcement trailers ranged from Psychonauts 2 uh, to two new Telltale games, uh, Batman games on the way. From Telltale, which I'm interested. Batman and Telltale that that is a marriage made in heaven. Uh, a new Walking Dead miniseries starring Michonne. Um, a new Far a Far Cry Primal trailer was showed off with some cool stuff, as well as a new one from before Quantum Break. Um, guys, you know what else made an appearance there? One hundred foot robot. Play no, ball? no, it did not. Um, Shaq Fu. No, no, no. Is making a comeback. Who saw that oh. one coming? Uh, they, they, it, it's coming back via an Indiegogo campaign, um, and Shaq was there to unveil the trailer for that. Um, and Rocket League, uh, Riz, you you were excited about this game earlier this year. Um, mm-hmm. Rocket League is coming to the Xbox One finally. Yay! Um, but the real spotlight was on the awards itself. Um, I'm going to run down through a couple of the winners here. Uh, best Family Game went to Super Mario Maker. Uh, best Fighting Game was Mortal Kombat 10. Best multiplayer multiplayer game went to Splatoon by Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Uh, best it. best mobile game went to Laura Croft Laura Croft Go. Boo. Uh, most anticipated game went to uh, No Man No Man's Sky. Of course it is because we nobody's seen it actual in actual action. Yeah. Uh, best narrative went to Her Story. Uh, best indie game went to Rocket League. Best mm-hmm. sports slash racing game also went to Rocket League. Um. Games for Impact went to Life is Strange. Best fan creation went to Portal Stories Mel, which is like a best fan created game, I guess. Um, Developer of the Year went to CG Project Red, uh, which is the uh, the uh, makers of the game Witcher Three. Um, best action adventure game went to Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain, uh, which also took home best score and soundtrack. Best performance went to Viva Seifert or Seifert, uh, from her story, which was actually announced as the Witcher 3 on the Game Awards, which was kind of a mess up. Everybody was like, what? What? <laughs> um, and best role-playing game went to The Witcher 3. Best shooter went to Splatoon from Nintendo again. And the game of the year, The Witcher 3, which I was very surprised about. Um the, the cool thing they did this year on Xbox, I know, I, I think they did it on Steam as well. I don't know if they did it on PlayStation. Um, but during the awards show, um, they actually had the games the, that were on sale. They were the, the games that were nominated on sale, hmm. uh, most of them. Um, so I got The Witcher. 
that's that's the game I bought. Uh, the Witcher Three. I played a little bit of The Witcher Two, um, and I'm I'm ready to give this one a chance because I heard it's like so much bigger and everybody is giving it a lot of compliments. So um, that'll be what I'll be playing this week probably. Um, but our final round question has something to do with the video game awards. Do you think the video game awards, or do you think that video games need an award show like this? Um, I, I don't. I'm. I'm not sure if it, I. I see what they're trying to do. It's a good way to uh, promote games that are coming up. Um, but that we also have E3 for that and other things. It, it's. It no. It, it's. It's to award. It's to reward the people that actually yeah. do work. Yeah, I could see that. Like that that's what they're that's what they But all, do they need to make it like the Grammys or the stuff well, like that? I mean it is yeah. kind of different from the Grammys. Yeah, because just, just so you know, the Grammys also have the American Music Awards. Yeah. They also have the People's Choice Awards. Yeah. There's they also have other things. If there's if it's in the movies, you might have a get, get a Grammy as well, or get a, a Oscar as well. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's what game it's what they game developers have in order to feel good. They do deserve credit to make for the, what they do. Yeah, the, the deserve credit and to help them, you know, push themselves a little bit better. Going, hey, we didn't win this time. But we're going to come back next year. And they also need to be invited to the video game awards. Yes, yeah. or allowed to attend by their company. By the way, uh. Jeff Keeley, right? Yeah, yeah, Jeff Keeley. He's the Jeff actual Keighley. he's the host and producer of the the, the video um, game award shows. That dude went off. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like not even on like, it wasn't I think he had more than one blow off on this one. Like he, he he went off on so many things. He went on Konami, he went he defended Kojima and I think he did some more stuff too, which mm-hmm. was like off script and n- like really weird to have a host do mm-hmm. but he was just going oh. yeah, it was his platform it was, it was his show yeah, yeah. he was yeah. producer of it so what are they gonna do fire him yeah that's true <laughs> anyways next year um chachi have anything to add i yeah i think it's a great idea and i think they should continue to do it on a grander scale mm-hmm. like i it, i think it they was should... previously on spike tv which they kind of went away from that i don't know why because it's spike tv yeah, no one watches true. spike tv <laughs> that is true um, but Unless no, I, think, I rescue. Like I, I think they need to have like a gold carpet, um, and and w- have people walk down the gold carpet wearing their their cartoon t shirts and asking people who they're wearing. You know, the whole, <laughs> I'm wearing Cubert. Yeah, I mean, just to take it to a whole new level. It's I mean, they, I think they should completely mock uh, the other award shows uh, with nerd things. Mm-hmm. Like I, I just think that that's the way it should be. I think you should have like uh, video game mascots walking the red carpet in, in like tuxes or gowns, and and just completely go crazy with it. Yeah, just have like um, cosplayers come out wearing. Right. Laura Croft, can we get a picture? Right. I mean, completely make it ridiculous. Because I mean, I, if I there's anyone on this planet that deserves awards, it's video game makers yeah. and. Mm. They spend so many times on those rocks, right, Chachi? Right. <laughs> so much time on the rock and the, uh, every single blade of grass. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I mean, you, Bobby, you're the counterpoint on this one. Why shouldn't they? Why, why shouldn't they have? I just the think. Award? I just think um, maybe they could do it at E3 or something like that. Just they don't need to like maybe televise it. I don't know. No, because if they do it at E3, it would be the year behind. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it would be the previous year's games, and then everyone would forget about all of the games that win awards at E3. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. I think... I well, mean, you I kind think, of have an awards show uh, at E3. Anyway, yeah, so. but that's, 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 for, that's for, for preview games. Yeah. But I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. I just think... I, I, I don't know. I think it should stay. All right. And... To kind of awkwardly transition to this, speaking of video game awards, next week is our award show, and we'd like you to send your feedback to us to either our at InsertCoinTV Twitter account or our Facebook group. 
or each of us individually. Um, let us know what you think is the game of the year. What's your pick for game of the year this year? Um, and that is going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTB. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on Live.SorgatronMedia.com. Sorg, do you have any plugs? Uh, just go out, check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. We got a lot of geekery going on over there all the time. All right, Chachi, any, any plugs? Nope. All right, Riz, plugs. Chachi plays on Twitter's. Uh, Chachi says on the Twitters, Damn, and man. and uh, and Riz plays games on on Twitters and the YouTubes. I'm actually posting one video a week because I have something to post now. <laughs> uh, it is finally I'm post. Actually, the first video came up while we were doing the show. So glad to see you're paying attention. <laughs> All right, and I'm at Bobby FJ Town. You can follow me there. That's going to do it for us this week, guys. Get us your game uh, game of the year choices. Game over. Game over, yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.